Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here with everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for the third episode of Haikyuu Season 4. And honestly, I really like what the show is doing right now, kind of opening up a different way, I guess, to give you know, Hinata some development, right? With him seeing things from a different perspective, which now he is, right? He has like a fresh new mindset uh, with how they left off the uh, with the previous episode. But with him being in this ball boy position, which... You know, he's been in before, but this time it's different. You know, like, he legit is the ball boy. Like, he doesn't get to play. He doesn't get to do any of that. He has to kind of sit back and watch and observe. So I like how the show is doing that, and I'm curious to see, you know, how the show does it, right? What is what is he going to take out of uh, this? And, you know, I'm just excited to, to, you know, to get into this episode for that reason, you know, to see what we're going to have with it. So, uh, yeah, let's hop into this third episode of Season 4, or To the Top however you want to go. Uh, we're starting at the very beginning, zero seconds, and we're going to get into it in three, two, one, play. And Ushiwaka showing up in, in Tendo 2, but Ushiwaka asking, what are you even doing, man? Like, if you're not getting anything out of this, what are you doing here? Like, what's going on? Like, right? <laughs> so him being here, I feel like, adds even more to it. He came out with the mops. I hate it. Because he knows, probably knows the ceiling for this man. Like, we all know the ceiling for this man is, like, <laughs> like infinite. So, you don't want to play against that, right? If he's starting to get it, if it's starting to click in his head, that's... Scary for the opposition, you know? <laughs> so. Or maybe having flashbacks to when they beat them in uh, <laughs> Season 3. Maybe that's he doesn't like that look on his face. I don't know. I was thinking past that. But... <laughs> They haven't focused on uh, Kageyama. Uh, I, I feel like this has to probably wrap up. Or maybe they're going to switch to it soon. Or maybe they're going to wrap this up individually and then they go to Kageyama's camp. Although they're happening at the same time. I'm interested to see how they're going to do that. They have, they have, if they have big development for Hinata. And then big development for Kageyama as well. That's going to be big obviously for Nationals. Episode 3, Perspective. He, he came out of that little, that little shed room or whatever you want to say about it <laughs> with a new mindset. Can't just chase after the ball. That's all I've been doing this whole time. <laughs> Tendo's like, yeah. He's seeing things from up here at his time. Oh man, just had to go up a floor. <laughs> like, man, it's hard to tell. It's hard to, like. <laughs> waste any movements <laughs> I 
All I ever have done is watch the ball. I'm not necessarily watching the other players' movements or how they... He's like, huh? I save. He like hopped into it. Yeah, he like hopped into his. Just tiny, but he like kind of hopped into it before he made like his move. Like a little hop there, at least that's what it seemed like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Like a little hop step or something that I got. <laughs> He's like, I want to think about that so bad. I want to do that so bad. Like, because that's always been the thing with him. But this is all big. A big part of this is new for him. <laughs> Split step. You kind of like set yourself like basketball, like with a jump stop. Like that's kind of similar. I'm more familiar with way more familiar with basketball. So that would be, I guess, what it kind of is similar to. <laughs> he got it, though. <laughs> Him in the previous episode wouldn't have even caught that or anything, probably. <laughs> He's got a little uh, something in there to plug that up. He's never thought about anything like this really before, you know? Like he's, <laughs> especially not just his position, the other players as well. Like his main thing, what he usually does. Yep. Cord is so full of information. I'm learning so much here. That's that's I guess what you have to do sometimes, right? Just kind of take a step back and see things from a different perspective. That's exactly what he's doing here too. It's kind of crazy that they haven't really done it, I guess, with him to this extent yet. I mean, they are still young. They're in high school, you know, like. <laughs> But at the level they play volleyball at, like... You need to throw a practice with him. <laughs> I'll pick up those balls for you. 
<laughs> last time he was gassed up like this <laughs> right yeah the last time he <laughs> yeah see the last time he was gassed up like this the last time he was <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah. <laughs> That's great, though. Even though he's the ball boy, it's still kind of, it feels like he's playing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I like how they're doing this, man. Like, this is still valuable experience. Oh. <laughs> You gotta be, you gotta be quicker. Well, I guess it's not perfectly similar to a jump stop. <laughs> That's what he has the right idea though. He was right though. Yeah. Probably really good. <laughs> Probably really good. <laughs> that was like, like my school. Like my school was like a, it was like a smaller school, so like the food wasn't that good. Honestly, <laughs> I mean some of it was, but going to like other schools for basketball games, I was like, oh, like oh my god, like. Not just the volleyball aspect of it too, but the food aspect <laughs> happen to think about. See it from a different perspective. Which I guess is important for his, you know, physical performance. He's writing it all down, man. I love this, dude. It's not just he is, it's, it's, it's all around. Like, he's starting to get it. <laughs> Aww. Sleep is important, too, yep. All the little things that go into it, though. As soon as in a practice game? Okay. Meanwhile.
I'm a Gucci. Let's see some. Let's see a. Let's see a serve. <laughs> Too much, too much mustard. <laughs> too much mustard on that one. Are they putting a big, they're probably putting a big emphasis on the serves. That's what they've been practicing. It's so stupidly cool. <laughs> Don't take us out, man. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, this is something they're putting emphasis on. If we can go to nationals now, <laughs> jumping the gun. <laughs> Did you see Yachi? You know, Yachi's like zoned in on something. I just saw her the way she was looking at them. She was like blushing and whatnot. It's like she was in the she was zoning out about something. I don't know what it was, but maybe the th practice match she just saw. I don't know. <laughs> He's getting the right idea. He's starting to get. I love how the others are even noticing, even though he's the ball boy, right? They're even noticing these things about him, about it too. He builds more experience, right? He's starting to get the right idea. It's starting to click. Great observation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> <Huh>? what? <laughs> Love the music they're using here, too. you thinking Suki what you <laughs> that visual though yeah yeah <laughs> if he was worried about his brethren. <laughs> oh, shit. Tendo's a monster, too. Like, what? <laughs> They're all monsters. <laughs> That's true. That is true. I mean, where he's at right now, like he might, he might be. So now we're switching over to that. Yeah. 
am. Ooh. And isn't this the shorty, too? Like, this kid's like, he, he looks like he's heat at this height. I think he was short, if I remember correctly. <laughs> was that too high? <laughs> or was it like, I don't know what was up with that. Too high, maybe? Force of habit, hitting it too high for a heat attack. <laughs> Everyone's, uh... Hmm. See, like, that, now that's something as a setter, right? Like, the, you know, the hitters, they kind of dictate that, right? Like, how high or how low or what point you need to be setting it at. Everyone's different. No one is taking it as serious as this man is right now. Like, you know, it's like crazy. I know they're all taking taking it seriously, but like, it just feels like, especially with this new mindset, like... <laughs> That's what I was getting from this. If it was feeling like a real game, it was like in some parts, like as if he was in there playing with them. <laughs> oh, ooh, oh, ooh! <laughs> he let his guard down for one second, man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn. It hurts so bad. Ah, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> huh? <laughs> He's like, huh? Wait, did he just like, what? He has asked me that? Double take? <laughs> I was wondering, like, there was something on, like, I know Suki was saying, like, or he said towards the end of the episode there, like, I feel like when I'm with him, like, he always has to say something or something like that. Uh, like, and even before that, earlier in the episode, I was like, okay, something, Suki's thinking about something right now, or something's on his mind, so. That, that, that was, uh, I guess, where they're going with that. They're, Whatever's gonna you'll go on with that conversation or that in the next episode. I'm kind of interested in, but this Hinata, I I love it, man. I love it. I love what the show is doing. You know, with him seeing things from a different perspective and, and seeing things in a different way that he never really has before, which is only obviously only going to benefit his game. And the sky is the limit for him, so it's scary. Especially for the opposition, you know. Uh, so us as people who cheer on Karasuno and the boys and Hinata and them, it's great to see. <laughs> it is great to see. So I, I I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna go for here, but it's kind of interesting that they brought it up. Like, well, Hinata kind of started off in a low place at the beginning of this camp because he was like stuck as the ball boy. But now he's, like, on the rise, right? He's starting to get a good mindset about it. Well, Kageyama, he might be having some trouble, you, you know? He, he might be, although we saw, like, he's loving this, right, this competition. But see how the others are looking at him? Like, that was something I noticed. The way the, some of the others are looking at him, they're like, what the heck? Like, I don't know if they're actually necessarily thinking, like, why is this guy here? Like, what's going on with this guy? Like, what's up with him, you know? But I feel like, I don't know, I, th I feel like maybe 
like with Kageyama being here, he's gonna be maybe at a lower spot than kind of where we saw Hinata at. So they're kind of like con you know contrasting between the two of them and in, in, in where they're both respectively at right now with these camps. So obviously the level of competition is different, but still it's kind of um, interesting what they're doing with that, and I really love what they're doing with it with it honestly. Um, so yeah, good stuff with this episode. Definitely. I, I love what they're doing with Hinata in this. And it it's like, even the others are noticing, right? Like how he, he's, you know, some of his movements are different, even as the ball boy, right? Like now they're, they're they, they've been interested in him. Don't get me wrong, but like he's the ball boy. They're even noticing these things about him. And, uh, it, it's just, it's just great. It's just great. Only good things coming out of it for, for Hinata. So he's moving in the right direction while, Kageyama right now, I mean, we did get a little glimpse of it, so I, I don't want to, like, take it and run with it and, and, and say all this, but looks like he may be struggling at first or, you know, just the way the others are looking at him. So maybe he's going to start kind of at this spot, similar to, like, how Hinata was when they first brought him in. You know, when he snuck in there, like, oh, you're going to be the ball boy. So there's going to probably be some room for growth or improvement for Kageyama too, or, or maybe not. I don't know what they're going to do with it. Maybe they do something totally different than what they just did with Hinata. We'll have to kind of wait and see, but, uh, you know, his just habit hitting the ball that high, every hitter is, is different, you know, and that it's not necessarily dictated by him in, in some cases, I guess it's dictated by the hitter, right? Cause you know, Hinata is telling him, okay, Give it to me at this position. Or give it to me this high. You know, at this high of a point. You know? So, it's an interesting dynamic. Definitely. So, um, so yeah, man. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode of Q. Do you guys like what they're doing with, uh, with this... With the way they're going about, uh, with the way, excuse me, they're going about developing the characters. Definitely let me know uh, in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching, as always. Peace out, guys.